The big news that broke the other day, I've been itching to talk about this here, guys. Trump released a statement where he basically validated, I'm going to be indicted and I'm going to be arrested over January 6th stuff as well. So now we're beyond any potential business crimes, beyond fraud, beyond classified document stuff. Now we're talking about January 6th related stuff, election related stuff. This is shocking because I must tell you, I didn't even know until much later on that Jack Smith wasn't only going after document stuff. I thought his investigation was limited to document stuff. No, apparently he's investigating January 6th stuff too. Wow. Okay, so here we go. Here's what Trump said. Wow. On Sunday night, while I was with my family, having just arrived from the Turning Point event in Florida, where I won the straw poll against all other Republican candidates with 85.7%, with all polls showing me leading in the Republican primary by very substantial numbers. Almost everything predicting that I will be the Republican nominee for president. That is a massively run-on sentence. And as I am leading Democrat Joe Biden in the polls by a lot, horrifying news for our country was given to me by my attorney. Deranged Jack Smith, the prosecutor with Joe Biden's DOJ, sent a letter. Again, it was Sunday night. <laughs> Why, is that? Why does that matter? S uh, stating that I am a target of the January 6th grand jury investigation and giving me very short four days to report to the grand jury, which almost always means an arrest and indictment. So now Joe Biden's attorney general, Merrick Garland, who I turned down for the United States Supreme Court, in retrospect, based on his corrupt and unethical actions, a very wise decision, together with Joe Biden's Department of Injustice, have effectively issued a third indictment and arrest of Joe Biden's number one political opponent, who is largely dominating him in the race for the presidency. By the way, that's not even true. There's plenty of polls where Biden is up on Trump. So it's, he just says stuff. Nothing like this has ever happened in our country before, or even close. Now, by the way, uh, no president who lost has ever denied the peaceful transition of power before either. So yeah, we're in uncharted waters. We're in uncharted territory. Who started that trend? It was you. It was you. All right, let's continue. They illegally spied on my campaign, attacked me with a totally fake dossier that was funded by Hillary Clinton's campaign in the DNC, impeached me twice. I won. They fail. I love how he just keeps committing crimes as he's talking about, I didn't commit crimes. <laughs> I won. Fake election. I won. They failed on the Mueller witch hunt. No collusion. They failed on Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. That's the same thing as the Mueller witch hunt. Okay. The 51 intelligence agents fraud, the FBI Twitter files, the DOJ Facebook censorship, and every other scam imaginable. But on top of all of that, they have now effectively indicted me three times. The DOJ staffed and runs the DA's office in Manhattan with the probable forthcoming from Atlanta where the DOJ are strict and possibly illegal coordination with the district attorney whose record on murder and other violent crimes is abysmal. The witch hunt is all about election interference and a complete and total political weaponization of law enforcement. It is a very sad and dark period for our nation. I gotta be honest with you guys, it is tough keeping up that Trump impression for that amount of time. <laughs> It's a lot of work. It's a lot, it takes a lot of energy. I don't know how he must be high as balls on Adderall in order to keep up with his like, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I did everything right. He keeps whining about the investigations into him. But I mean, the obvious point to make is, why did you commit so many crimes? <laughs> like, that's the main, he really did. Look, whether you like Trump, dislike Trump, agree, disagree, it doesn't matter. Objectively speaking, he committed many, many crimes. He just did. That's why he's under, like, seven different investigations. Not because it's just, it's all a witch hunt, it's all fake. Now, to be fair to him, I think there were plenty of examples he gave, and some of them he even gave here, where they were out over their skis. I mean, a good example of that is, uh, I think, the Russiagate stuff. There were claims that Trump was a Russian asset since 1987, and, uh, you know, there was tapes of hookers pissing on him, and uh, Putin had a compromat on him, and he was Putin's puppet and all this... That stuff, Democrats were out way over their skis. That stuff was factually wrong. The Mueller report basically, it, it delivered some other Trump confidants on basically standard crimes, but vis-a-vis -vis Russia, none of that stuff was there. So that is an example of, look, you overreached, and it's sort of like the boy who cried wolf. But I must say, judging the evidence on a case-by-case -case basis, looking at each individual case, many of these cases are real as a heart attack. Okay, so, but... Here's the, here's the point about January 6th, right? I got to be honest with you guys. I think it's a slam dunk case when you talk about 
classified documents, obstruction of justice, etc. I really do. I think some of the business charges against him are slam dunk cases. In fact, some of them he already has to pay massive fines for. But this, I, I sincerely don't know how this is going to go. I really don't. Because what I said at the time was, he spoke out of both sides of his mouth on January 6th. So he really tried to cover his ass in a sense. You know, uh, allegedly behind the scenes, he was sitting there and sort of rooting for it to succeed, watching it on TV when January 6th was happening. But then he went out there after a certain amount of time and basically said, like, I understand why you're mad. You're all beautiful people, wonderful people. But please go home peacefully. Respect our law enforcement. He spoke out of both sides of his mouth. Now, it's also true that before the riot, he was given a speech saying, we got to go to the Capitol. We got to be strong. We can only take our country back with strength. He, of course, was telling Mike Pence, you better overturn the results of the election. Sort of threatening him, say, do the right thing. His guys were chanting, hang Mike Pence. And Trump was apparently said behind the scenes, like, hey, maybe he kind of deserves it because he didn't do the right thing. So there are plenty of things that are ethically wrong, morally wrong, but it doesn't cross the line into being illegal. I don't know. I think Jack Smith has a difficult task to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that this was sort of like orchestrated from the top down from Trump. Um, maybe it's possible that if he had his fingerprints on the fake elector scheme that apparently happened in many of the states, um, then they might be able to get him. Because then it's like, you know, conspiracy to commit a crime or something like that, and they can get some more jail time for that. But I got to be honest with you guys, I don't know vis-a-vis January 6th. I don't know how strong the case is going to be, because we're not just talking about, you know, colloquially acknowledging, like, yeah, he did a lot of morally and ethically wrong things. We're talking about, can you prove beyond a reasonable doubt that a crime was committed, and what specific crime was it, and what's your specific evidence for it? And he sort of covered his tracks and talked out of both sides of his mouth and gave plausible deniability and all that stuff. So look, I don't know. We're going to see. But... I need you to look at this. Maggie Haberman, advisors bluntly telling Trump he has to win the election to avoid jail time. So make no mistake about it, he's shitting bricks. And his own advisors, probably his own lawyers, are like, for the love of God, shut up. Stop talking about this stuff. And also understand, this is bad. This is bad. By the way, I got one more for you. Look at this. NBC News confirms ex-Arizona Governor Doug Ducey has been cooperating with the special counsel's investigation into the efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Reminder, Trump called Ducey after he certified Biden's 2020 election win in the state. So we might get another call that was similar to the find me 11,000 votes, which is what he did in Georgia. Clear attempt to steal the election. Doug Ducey, guys, guys, is a Republican, Republican governor, and he's cooperating against Trump. That's what this means. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What did Trump say in the phone calls? What is Doug Ducey going to testify to? Look, what I'll say is this. The reason why they're talking, hey, man, you have to cooperate to avoid jail time or... Excuse me, you have to win to avoid jail time. The reason they're saying this, I think that's got to be more for, in my opinion, that's more for the the classified document stuff. Because I do think that's more of a slam dunk case. Um, If they want to go for jail time, they can. And I think they have all the evidence they need. But look, maybe they're even hotter on the trail than I thought or I realized or I even thought was possible when it comes to January 6th related stuff. Just how much was he involved? How much was he involved? How much was he telling... People in Arizona, people in Georgia, people in Michigan do the fake electors thing. We're going to win this thing no matter what, etc. I mean, they did 60 court cases, right? Trying to overturn it. That didn't work. So clearly he was directly involved and his staffers were directly involved in that. How high up the chain does it go? How much can they prove legally that they're liable for? But man, it's heating up more than I expected. More than I expected. And again, my advice to Trump would be, hey man, if you don't want to have all these investigations into you, maybe don't commit so many crimes. Because that, make no mistake about it. Are they trying to get Trump? Yes. But it is based on his actions. It is not a priori we're going to go after Trump. Because we're in uncharted waters here when it comes to the health of the country, right? And when it comes to, yes, going after political opponents. But in the same way I thought Hillary Clinton was a criminal, I thought it would have been a fair game to go after her. I think potentially she deserved jail time. I think the exact same with Donald Trump. I do. And um, we'll see what ends up happening here, but this is more movement than I thought was possible. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.